guys, Professor Prime here with MyJaPlanet.com, and today we are taking a look at Transformers collaboration, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tox Transformers Party Wagon figure. I unfortunately did not get a chance to pre-order this in time. Heard about it last week. I was actually on my Hasbro site. I was going to pre-order it, and then I didn't have my card information in. I was like, I'll just do it when I got home. I got home. I didn't forgot about it, and then when I got around to recording the video, I was like, oh, look at that. It's sold out already. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. I'm a little bit late on getting this out, but that's okay, guys. We're still going to talk about the figure, and what I really like about the figure is the fact that it's, it's the turtle van, and it turns into a turtle, and it has not only, for $49.99, does it come with swappable heads. You get four swappable heads. It's it's awesome. It's like it's awesome. Let's take a look at it. So the first picture we have here is of Raphael. So you got like the R, and then when you get take a look, the second picture you can see now he has the swords, and you see the belt has also changed. So you have swappable belts, and it comes with all the weapons. And now we have the head for Leo. And then you can see here's a shot of all of them. There's Donatello. Now what's interesting is that it's interesting. This is this is very very interesting that you get all the weapons. You get Raph. You get Michelangelo's come with the nunchucks. I believe the nunchucks are actually solid. I don't think they're on plastic chains or anything like that. You get uh, storage. You got like little little things there. It's this is pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. So then, and then like, it's just kind of showing you where all the different weapons store on the figure, which I think is really cool. And then here he is. Here's the back of it, transformed. It doesn't look like it has a lot of, like, like there's a little bit of robot kibble underneath there. But overall, this thing looks amazing. This looks amazing. I love it. It looks great. These are some uh, product shots. And then here's also, so this is how it works. So it's basically just a top piece for the, like the, the visors for the eyes. And then you got, you got a pair of nunchucks, you get a pair of size, uh, a pair of swords, and you get the bow. So there, yeah, you got Mikey or Leonardo and Donatello. You got Michelangelo and then you got Raphael. I, th I think it's awesome. And then, so let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, it comes with I, the level of accessories that you get with this thing. And, and everything, it's 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 amazing. I love the posability. It's really posable. And then I love how, like, the back, like, the shell, I, I love that. You got, like, weapon storage for the swords, like that. And then, okay, then here's a full shot. So, yeah, we're going around again. But, uh, guys, this is an amazing set. This is really really cool set and i'm kind of bummed out that i didn't get a chance to pre-order it i'm a little bummed out over it i know that there'll be a i'll have another chance to get this though there'll, there'll be a second wave it'll show up at a gamestop or it'll be like on amazon it'll, i'll be able to get it i'm not too worried now here's the question if you buy something like this does do you have to get four of them like, is it like, should you get four of them, you know? So you could display all of them. And the thing is, is limit five per customer. So, and that's usually the standard on Hasbro's Pulse's website is five per customer. So I'm, I'm kind of curious if, if you were to buy these, would you buy four of them? Simply so you could display all four. I've always had this very much strong, like, hey, if I'm gonna buy a turtle, you have to buy all four of them. Like, for example, way back when the GameStop exclusive NECA turtles originally had come out, way back in, I think, I wanna say it was in 20, 2017, actually. Maybe, might, it might have been 2018. And I was only able to get a hold of Raphael and Leonardo, and I couldn't find the other two. And I just, it was one of those things where, like, I just couldn't find myself to just, like, display them just those two, even though I could have. I ended up just selling them off and you know eventually Walmart did their exclusives like with the two packs and I eventually got all four turtles that way. It's always the thing like if you're gonna buy a turtle you can't just buy one turtle you have to buy all four. You need all four. That's just how I've always viewed it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think you should just get one of these guys with the just having one party wagon or would you have to have two of them? Two. Would you have to have four of them just to be able to display all of them? I, I could definitely see a lot of people buying four of these just to display them individually. You know I could even see someone doing five of them having one in vehicle mode and then the rest in all robot mode i'm actually surprised that it took so long for this to come out actually because we've had the echo one and we've had the delorean that's really cool and the only other the other other like there's two different cars from the 80s that i would love to see transformers of and that would be uh knight rider and the van from um 
from the A team that I would like to see. I don't know what robot modes they would be, but I would love to see it. I would I would definitely love to see it. Yeah, guys, it looks really cool. I mean, like the holes in the back here kind of that kind of sticks out to me just a little bit, but I understand that why they're there, they're peg holes. You know, the the and obviously you're gonna display it. If you display it in vehicle mode, you're gonna display the front of it, not the back of it. So I mean it's not a huge, huge deal. I think it's a really cool figure, guys. I'm really I really still bummed out I didn't get it. I'm still bummed out, but that's okay because I'll get one eventually. Just like I was bummed out when, you know, the DeLorean came out and I couldn't get it. And I got lucky one day and I walked into my local GameStop and they had one sitting there on the shelf for retail price. And I grabbed it and I bought it <laughs> and then I never opened it. It's still sitting in the package, ironically. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys want to see more of these kind of like have collaborations with Hasbro and other franchises, if, uh, did you get one? Are you, were you planning on getting one? Do you want to get one? Uh, let me know what you think down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, why don't you just go ahead and give this video a like. That helps, helps me know if you guys like these kind of videos and stuff like that. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, check out this video right up here in the corner. And as always guys, until next time.